Hey guys, my name is Fabe and welcome back to another episode of the Dinosaur Mine. Let's start today's episode with getting a Silk Touch pick. <laughs> God dang it. No. This is now how this was supposed to work. Well, I had 30 levels, so I thought, let's give it another shot. Okay, what I also did in the meantime is I was doing some branch mining and uh, besides a lot of diamonds and some volcanic rock and all kinds of other things i also got i think it was 55 new um fossils from the jurassic craft mod and i yeah calm down little guys look at all of three of them i think they were all here yeah there they are all three of them here i think this guy has a little bit of an obsession with the dodos this is how it used to be back in the days when we had our very first smilodons that weren't tamed to me and were actually walking around they were always looking very very hungrily at the dodos in the enclosure nearby. Anyways, I already put the uh, fossils into the analyzers, I guess. They're not analyzers, DNA extractors is what they're called, of course, in the lab. And now it's time, I think, to check them out. They should be running through at least, you know, these. the, the problem with these um, extractors is that you can't really set them up with hoppers. And they only have four slots, so this is all you get out of those guys, usually. No luck here. We are still looking for a Herrera saw, by the way. Quite a few DNAs, but nothing that is something we need. Arsinoetherium. What was the other one called in the Fossils in Archaeology mod? I think I want to get that today, now that I think about it. Like another, another mammal from... The eyes say, oh, Spinosaur. I don't think we had that before. We might have. I was wrong last time too when I thought we had some. All right, um, I'm gonna let this run through. And in the meantime, I think we should go over back to the first laboratory and set up some cultivation of some good old Ice Age mammal DNA. If I have some, I don't even know, I need to check. Here we are, Elasmotherium. So, I already forgot what the other one was called. But let's make one of those, I think. And you know where I want to put them? I want to put them into what used to be the Ankylosaur enclosure. Are you going? I think they are going a lot slower lately. But yeah, he took the milk, so he's probably going. Alright, let's fill this back up. And yeah, because we lost our Ankylosaur, as you saw in one of the last episodes. And the ankles are didn't really fit in this whole area anyway, since we decided way back when we made the mammoth enclosure and this mountain enclosure, we decided that this area is gonna be our um, ancient mammal enclosures or um, ancient mammal area of the park. So I think this enclosure would work a lot better for the Elasmotherium. And maybe we can get some of the other um, mammals from Jurassic Craft mod back there towards the new lands. I guess we'll have to analyze some amber too, otherwise we'll never get around to getting our Herrerasaurus, our second one. Wow, that looked weird. Elasmotherium embryo. Let's see, what are the chances that there's actually some pig or cow roaming around in the enclosure of our Ankies, I suppose? I don't know, I don't remember seeing um, any one of them. And oh, do I have some wheat on me? I have a lead which will probably do the job just as well. Let's keep bring it out already. We have a couple of pigs in the mammoth enclosure still, so I could snag one of those, but it would be a lot easier if there was already one waiting for us. Any volunteers here? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, look at that. There's a couple of pigs here. Awesome. All right, let's get them away from the water a little bit. Chickens won't work, right? All right, pig, you are gonna be a mother soon. Are you excited? Sure hope you are. I don't know how big they're gonna get, if I'm honest with you, so we'll find out, I suppose. Okay, um, here you go. Big elephantarium in your belly. Let's check you out. It will take a while, I suppose, and I'll meet you guys back once this pregnant pig is ready to give birth. And night has fallen. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. 
let's check on you. Nice. Stay here. Thank you very much. We want to see you give birth in 2%. I think it takes around maybe 10 minutes. For, I don't know, I haven't... Oh my god! What a hungry little guy! And he went straight to sleep. <laughs> this is so cute. Can I get a good screenshot? No, I cannot. Let me get a good screenshot of that. Oh. Sleeping below the pig? Oh yeah, that's the one. Bam. Look at that! That is so cute. We are in a photo shoot now, officially. Okay, let me go back a little bit. Pig, turn around! Yeah, that's the one. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now, yeah, no, your foot is in the way. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool though, doesn't it? No, I see your butt. I don't want to see your butt with a little spiral. Okay, that's probably good enough. Anyways, uh, we got an... Oh, well, you can go now. Elasmatherium. Let's see, herbivore. Eats grass, apparently. Gender female, that's okay. Current order wander, that's good. And diurnal, all right. So, we get a new friend in town, and while I'm here, I might as well replant some of the grass, because who knows when it's gonna get hungry again, or she's gonna get hungry again when she wakes up. She's a nice big breakfast. So yeah, we're gonna observe her for a while and see if she grows up and if she can move around this terrain. I mentioned it in the past, I'll probably have to get rid of some of these trees to make it a little bit more accessible. Maybe these two. Let's get rid of these two. I shouldn't be out here in the middle of the night. It's a very, very bad idea and I'll probably take a creeper to the face very, very soon. But yeah, let's get rid of these two trees here and then we're gonna move on over to the second laboratory again. I'm gonna analyze um, the amber that I took from the lab earlier and see maybe we get lucky finally that would be good ah good old amber 100% DNA 100% of the time oh hello there my good old friend finally some <laughs> luck uh, I'm actually gonna keep that on me right now we're gonna put it in the culture vet right away let's see do we get lucky twice I don't know let's check the other one we got 16 chances here which is pretty good Ankylo Dilophosaurus, Stegosaur, so not too shabby, but nope, we don't get lucky twice. All right, let's put these all away. I don't need them right now. I'm gonna sort them later. You and you, and one more chance. Doesn't look like it. Nope, but that's okay. One more already makes me pretty happy, I'm not gonna lie. So, oops, that's not where I need to go. There, I need to go. Let's quickly, before we put that in the culture vet, let's see how our one Herrera store is doing. Still very, very small. I don't know how big they're gonna get. Anyways, I'm gonna quickly cultivate the new one. Here we go. Hatching time. Oh, 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 guys, look at that. Oops. He's yellow. What color? Yellow. Awesome! That is really amazing! I'm pretty sure the other one was red from the beginning and now we can already see that he has grown a little bit compared to what he used to be when he hatched. They have quite a hunchback, don't they? Do you guys do you guys need some food? Okay, let's have a feeding feeding time here for those two little suckers. I don't think they'll push each other out when I'm... I'm gonna go in completely this time. Usually I keep it open during feeding, but not today. All right, come over. Share. That was for you. You're not hungry? Oh yeah, you are. I'm wasting all my steak on you guys. You better eat up. Okay, last chance. Okay. I guess you're done, that's okay. Um, please stay in here. Pig, take care of these guys. You didn't end up with food yet, which means they probably do like you. Which is good to know. I don't know how long I should let them grow up until I move them into the enclosure, which is going to be a little bit of a pain. I'm gonna try and use the lead, I suppose, since that worked for the lact leptic tediums. Um, it's not too far. It's gonna be a lot more trouble later down the road. 
So look at that, we already have new, two new creatures today and we are not even halfway through the episode, isn't that crazy? We never make that much progress usually, but I felt like it today. So what else should we do? I know, let's break some windows, shall we? <laughs> So some of you might remember that I initially planned on building another little room or house, I suppose, of the hotel here, which is going to be a big, big swimming pool. And I want to start on that today. I don't know how far I'll get, but I feel like building a little bit on there. So the first thing we'll have to do is we have to bridge this little trench here, valley, whatever you want to call it. And we're gonna open up this as another door. And then we're gonna have the bridge going over on the other side. Probably just a straight bridge, pretty pretty simple. And we're gonna build a big hall with big windows there. In a similar style to the hotel, I think. Since it's gonna belong to this anyway. I did quite a bit of work. Uh, I don't know how long it took me. Maybe an hour or two? Maybe a little more, maybe a little less? I'm not quite sure, but... As you can see, I have been... Look at this brown sheep. <laughs> I have been doing the work, so we got a little bit of a bridge going on here. I'm gonna work something out for below it, but uh, I'm planning on having like a hedge going on the side instead of having like a glass railing or something. So that should be fun. And as you can see, I tried to mimic the style of the hotel very, very closely. Same type of entrance. And I'm gonna have probably something like an entrance hall. Then I'm actually planning on having something like changing rooms. I, some sort of changing room. I don't know if I can fit it in yet. I have a couple of really, really nice ideas for this uh, swimming, swimming pool slash pools. Um, and it's gonna be big, as you can see, bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but that's usually what happens when I plan to build something. And yeah, as I said, I have some cool ideas. I hope I can get them done in Minecraft. Unfortunately, probably not today, because I am out of time, and I don't know if I mentioned it last episode, I might have. I am going to move tomorrow. <laughs> I am going to move to a different country. I'm going to move to to Switzerland and uh, I don't know I, I don't know. I don't know if I have internet for the first week or so and I will be working um, a new job. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I know that I still have many plans for this world and I probably will keep playing and keep making videos of it, but there might be uh, quite a sizable break within the next week or two until I get situated at the new place and get everything set up again and have some time to relax and play Minecraft again. I don't know when that's gonna happen. Just a heads up, there might not be any videos at all. There might be some... I have some Pokemon Go footage left and I might vlog a little bit, but until I have internet and my computer set up, the dinosaur mine might go on a little bit of a hiatus. Um, I know you guys are gonna miss it and I know a lot of you won't listen to what I just said and gonna ask me anyways on Twitter or in comments of other videos uh, when it's coming back. It is not going away, it is coming back. I'm not gonna stop this world, but it's on somewhat of a forced break. And uh, yeah, I just needed to tell you that. And as you can see, we are in the middle of this new project that already got me really, really excited again. And I can't wait to work more on this on this uh, hotel swimming pool. I have some really, really cool ideas. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Maybe a little bit of a shorter episode. Um, and I hope to see you all again in a little while. Until then, enjoy yourselves. And seriously, guys, don't be daft. Play some Minecraft. <laughs>